Centurion-based Astral has two major divisions, Animal Feeds and Poultry. Its major brands include Meadow Feeds, Early Bird and Country Fair. It was unbundled from Tiger Brands in 2001. It has a market cap of 3.9 billion rand, price to earnings ratio of 11.4 and a dividend yield of 6.4%. And again, if you look at their uh, results recently or throwing forward to their resu results, they're looking at hips down between 75 and 85% round about that uh, arena. Yes, well, they got hit and complained with the, the double whammy of uh, the imports coming from Brazil as well as the, uh, the very high grain prices. And because their business is so big, they have to import some of their grain as well. So they're not only paying South African farmers premium, they're having to import some of that grain as well. So, you know, they're getting a double whammy on the cost side, and obviously they're having to reduce their margins to keep up with the prices in the shops of the chickens. So they got, they got hit on both sides and uh, under a lot of pressure at the moment. But now we have mm. implemented tariffs to try and curb the Brazil problem, mm. haven't we? Well, that's what Rob was referring to earlier, that that's a long-winded process now. In the so old we, days we haven't re reached resolution on it. Yeah, well, the second thing is also the EU have got a free trade agreement with us, and they're also bringing in chickens, and that's going to be separate from the tariffs that they're going to uh, impose on on the Brazilian, the Brazilian chicken import. So there still is that importing coming through Europe, which is going to take a really long time to fix. Just clarifying, have we decided to go ahead with tariffs on the Brazilian imports? Or is that still up for debate? I think it's still up for debate. And anyway, I mean, to say... They're well, challenging look, it. I I'm know from Brazil's the government coming in and hard. I'm here yeah. to help. It just doesn't look like a very sustainable strategy. I think they may get something there. But this has been a long-running thing. They've always been trying to get the tariffs. Do you remember the days like a decade ago when chicken imports were becoming a problem? What the dirty people from Brazil used to do is put a sachet of MSG in the box and then say that it wasn't raw chicken, it was seasoned chicken. It's just an ongoing global game. You can't win. Right, so let's leave the tariff discussion aside. Okay. Let's look at Astral Foods. And although we saw that uh, climb in Rainbow, we're not seeing the same movement here on Astral. Fell heavily on recent results that were really not good, and that's all the stuff Rob's alluding to. You know, Meadow, which is a big feed producer and seller of feed to other parts of the agricultural industry, getting heavily hit maize prices all over the map. The chicken business on its back foot. There was a competition-related inquiry that seems to be kind of going against them. So this is a company that's done well since it came out of Tiger. It's a great dividend distributor. Uh, Chris Scutter, the CEO, is a fabulous Haven't guy. Haven't they put a pause on their dividend? No, they haven't. They cut their dividend, but they didn't cut it as much as some people were expecting. And, uh, so there is still a dividend there. So they did reduce that dividend, which is very strong um, in the last few years. So they reduced that dividend, but not as bad as everybody else thinks. Do you still back it for the dividend play? I do. I think that they will still carry on with the dividends. And at these lower levels, that, that yield of things going, if they keep it at the same level, there's now up to about seven and a half at these lower levels. So I really like it as a dividend play. And I think that you know, the, the, the chicken industry will, will, will survive over this, this period. So I think you know, it's a good time to enter for that dividend. Mm. Paul, do you like the dividend play here? Do you think that, uh, that yeah. Rob has got a, a fair I was never really big there? on the whole agricultural and farming and chicken-related industries because of the cyclicality of earnings. And I think we've had a reminder again of why that is. Having said that, you they've still now have to really... Feed the world. Exactly. They've come down very heavily now. They've, you know, market's fallen out of love with them. There's some story going on in the chicken industry about brining as well. The government's going to change the rules about brining. Because everybody was bl brining is when you blast the I'm chicken I'm with salty water. I'm glad you took it. I didn't want to be completely ignorant, <laughs> but I, I don't think brining is in my vocabulary. Even if it's not feeling too fresh on that day, and give it a solid blowdown with seawater, and then you send it to the store. And that sounds like a bad idea, but they've decided to regulate that you can only do that up to 8%. So 8% of your chicken can be salty water. Sounds fine. There's another problem with some of those individually quick frozen stuff going on. But all that notwithstanding, after such a long period of negativity, I think the stock, given its talented CEO, Chris Skitter, is beginning to look attractive. Is Chris one of your friends? No, no, no. But he is a great guy. There's interviews with him. You know that he goes around hiring people who he thinks have got a good twinkle in their eyes, like guys at the forecourt and the petrol station or the golf caddies. He says, come and work for Astral. Do you have the same glowing report for Chris Skitter <laughs> at the head of Astral? They've managed Astral very well over the last few years, and I, I, I am. They're a good management team. And I think they'll weather the storm and uh, I like So it. value managers' ears are all pricking up here. Well, they've obviously all looked at this as a value play. Rob? I think so. At these levels, definitely. Hot or not, Paul? Look, I'm also hoping that maize prices in the U.S. are going to fall because normally when maize prices are high, people plant a lot. So, yes, I'm leaning towards... On uh, the hope that maize hot. prices in the U.S. are going to fall. Exactly. Hey, is that good, not a good, good basis for, for any call here? <laughs> Rob, hot or not on no, Astro? I'm hot on Astro at these levels.